So at last I've been and had an appointment for the skin which I, you know, the issue I thought I was dying or not, obviously as the case may be. Um, same thing is we, it sort of cleared up on its own now so by the time you come here most of it's already gone and of course um, they don't know what it is now so because I've had it, it's gone, I've seen the doctor or the dermatologist specialist they've said well as it's gone we don't really know what it is so it could have been anything you kind of want some sort of definitive answer and we get is uh, I don't know never mind hi guys the video you've just seen about the doctors and the appointment was filmed actually before I went to Brighton but I didn't have anything else to go with it to stick it in a vlog and I didn't want to stick it into one of the Brighton vlogs so that's why I've added it here um, it, you know, it didn't really tell me much at all, to be honest with you, as I said. Um, still none the wiser, really. Everything sort of, uh, well, we don't really know. If anything happens, come back another time and let us know again. Or go to a different doctor. So I'm none the wiser, still more anxious about what was going on and what's happening. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't do much about it. If they don't know, um, no, I don't know. Free, free, free your, your so this is the current Dunny cabinet. It's a glass cabinet. It's all right. But it's very fragile. I've knocked it the other day and sort of a lot of them have fallen over because I was looking at measuring it. So the reason the dunny cabinets also needed is because some of the dunnies have ended up over here on the shelf with the rest of the toys, which isn't good because they're not together. So I waited a couple of days and I've got another cabinet that I can put them all in one place. So this is the new cabinet. This has come from Wayfair. Um, looking at the box, I thought, ah, that's all right. It's already made, assembled. You don't have to do anything, get it out. It's supposed to be able to hang it on a wall. You've got to assemble it that doesn't seem too bad though because it's probably quite substantial weight wise so it should be all right well then not too many bits by the look of it um doesn't look like to be too difficult to put together either but the so-called silver backing is um not quite that silver is it it's got two sides it's got a wood side and they said in, in advertised as a silver side so unless there's something else in this pack um, I'd call that white. So this is a lot better. This is what we're aiming for. This is something where you can see all the dunnies and there's still space for more. I've um, got to think about somewhere lighting it. There's holes in the back, which hopefully with the holes I could post or poke through some sort of lighting system, which is why I've left the holes there. So what else have I been up to? Well, I've going to use my Google mug. which is a quite a nice size to drink coffee out of, so it's quite nice. I have been planning for quite some time to do some video of the Planet Earth site. Um, a little way from me, but at night, on some especially on the weekends, it gets to very late and then it like, lights up the entire sky. It's massive. So I've meaning to do it, but every time I've gone out, it's either raining or it's too windy. By the time I did get out there and the lights are on, it was foggy or quite foggy actually you can still see quite a bit but the footage hasn't come out as well as i wanted to and the video i did whilst i was there because i didn't plan it as well as i f should have done normally i took the drone made sure the drone was all charged up but i didn't take anything to do any filming of me with other than the phone it looks like the air is on fire but it's not it's just as I said with the fog normally it's slightly better when it's got a cloudy sky and the sky sort of like light there's no fog about when the clouds sort of shining up in the sky so you've got higher clouds and the red or sort of orangey light I suppose you'd call it reflects off of the bottom half of the clouds so it's quite an impressive sight unfortunately as I said tonight it's foggy so we can't really see it that way but normally it looks quite good like that So also, it's a bit of mail time. I had some mail come through the post um, a couple of days ago, and I had some mail post today. First one, this one is, I know what this is. This is a pair of Mr. Lacey green laces. Now, the first green laces that I have got on my rifle shoes, which I've shown in the past, Leanne bought me, I used to have them on some boots, put them on the rifle shoes. I've had them on there for a while, but they've gone off color quite a lot. They've lost a lot of their normal color. 
which is a shame. The second pair of green laces that Leanne got me, you'll see on the yellow and black vans, I've got those, but I needed to put some new ones in the rifle, so I bought Mr. Lacey. Mr. Lacey laces, you'll notice I also bought for the um, Nightmare Before Christmas vans as the white ones when I was in Brighton, I bought them in the DC shop. Mr. Lacey flatties are very, very good laces. Couldn't get glow in the dark Mr. Lacey's for the vans Nightmare Before Christmas, so I ended up getting other ones off the internet, but these ones are just fluorescent green. Mr. Lacey's very, very good quality. They've even actually got Mr. Lacey written in the little bit at the end of the lace. But they're very well put together, very, very bright green. These are gonna look excellent again back on the rifle shoes which had them in the first place, which Leanne got me the laces. Okay, so for the next parcel stroke packet, it's another one. This is from China. Um, oh, well, I ordered it from an English company on eBay, like you do. That's extra propellers for the Spark. When I was in Brighton, had a little bit of an accident with the Spark. Um, didn't notice though until after. So the Spark had a bit of a knock, and strangely enough, and unfortunately, I don't know if you can see, it took a bit of a knock and lost one of its legs on the actual propeller. Now, the downside to that is I didn't notice it until I went to change it for the green set. I thought, I'll change it for the green set, see what happens. Took this off, realised that this had happened. Now, this is still on the quadcopter at the time. It could have flown off at any point. Um, it didn't, luckily. If I'd been out overseas and this had decided to break free, this had flown off, I would have lost it for good. So I was very, very lucky that I did actually decide to change it and notice it had broken. So I've decided to upgrade them to some white with gold tips. Um, hopefully these will be a bit stronger. They're nice and sturdy. There's the problem with the green ones. The green ones are a bit floppy. So these will hopefully give me a slightly steadier flight and maybe not vibrate as much as the green ones do. So the next parcel, I do sort of know what it, well, I know what this is, big box. So I did mention this in my last vlog. Um, I did say I was looking for something, something I actually missed out on, couldn't get. So I looked again, and of course they were there again from somebody else. Same thing I was looking for. What am I on about? Well, so this box is the SNES, the old SNES as you know it, with the controllers. Open the box up and we've got in, as I said before in the last video, the SNES vans. These are the Mario, Super Mario, sorry, vans, brand new, very rare and very hard to get hold of. I looked around a few sites as I was watching this on eBay and found out that nobody's really selling them new anymore. And if they are, they're charging 90 odd quid for them. Some people charge them well over 100 quid for them. I didn't pay that much because I managed to get in very quick to get them. So the Mario pattern itself doesn't really match on both shoes. You see it's got very, very similar, but it's not quite exactly the same. Same around the back. One of the best bits about these shoes, which I love, is on the bottom. Um, you've even got on the tag, you've got the controller, Nintendo controller for the tag, but also on the end of the shoelaces, each shoelace has got the NES controller on the end of the lace. So like I showed you just now with the Mr. Lacey's, Mr. Lacey written on them, these ones have actually got the Nintendo controller on them, which I think is very, very awesome. They have also even got on the sort of on the tutton, you've got the Super Mario Brothers logo stroke icons, and inside the tongue it says game over, as it does underneath the shoes. You've got the Nintendo logo in the inside as well. So I've been out and about and bought a load of stuff recently, to be honest with you. I haven't really spent much money though, so it's not like I've spent loads of money on this stuff. All this stuff is very, very cheap, usually below a fiver, apart from the shoes. I went in the pound shop to buy some of my reader glasses, uh, because I keep scratch, I either scratch them or I lose them, and then find that I had them in my pocket all the time, or hidden away in the back of the car somewhere, so they'd fallen down the seat, or I don't know. These are only really for my close vision, so if I need to read, or do something close on the phone or the computer. Everything else I'm fine still. Although to be fair, I haven't had an eye test for about a year. The last one was a year ago when they said I didn't need glasses only for reading, so I could probably do it another test at some point, but for, you know. So what else did I buy? I bought a very, very bright, or two very bright cases. They put them down as cosmetic bags, obviously. I'm using it to cut about my loom cubes. So the loom cubes that are in the car, I've got two cubes, two housings, two sets of, or four diffusers in total, 
and a couple of tripods and bits like that. So there's no way they just sort of loose line about. So I thought a nice case to put them in. This is the ideal size. And I just love, of course, it's bright holographic colors, stands out. And um, they're the ideal. I just got to find something to put in this one now. And last but not least, um, because I'm no shrinking violet, you may have noticed in the past when I've been out of my camera, sometimes you'll notice there's a green bow. Um, green bow is just sort of an identifier to sort of show, you know, with my green hair, it sort of signifies green hair, nom nom, that sort of thing. So having a little green bow. The spark bag has a green 3D printed joker, one of my colleagues at work printed for me. But the other bags didn't have anything. So I got back in touch with the girl that did the original bow for the first camera bag and she went out of business for a little while, or she stopped doing the business, shall we say, for a little while, um, relaxed, got out of it for a while and then she decided to get back into it again, which is really nice because that allowed me to get a new bow for the Panasonic bag. So I've got a nice, slightly smaller, different bow this time. It hasn't got the tails on it in the same lime green though. And then for the Mavic Pro, I asked her to do me a custom one, so I've got green and yellow. So again, just three different. So I really like these, check her out. It's Little Bow London. Um, she's on Etsy, have a look. And um, I'll put a link down below, as I will put links for everything else down below, including the vans that you probably can't buy anywhere, the shoelaces you can buy, and the propellers you can buy. Um, I have got some other bits coming through. I've got a bracelet thing coming through at some point, made out of shoelaces. That obviously hasn't arrived yet. So that's it for now. Dunnies up there, parcels, bit of van fanny earth. I will try and get and do that maybe another time when it's a bit clearer. And um, that's it. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like the videos, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified of when I upload more videos. I will be doing more watch reviews. There are more watch reviews to come. There's a few more to do, so you'll see them soon. Bye.